But I do think we are forming a bubble in certain parts of the market. And if you start looking at artificial intelligence, you start looking at semiconductor stocks, the prices at this point are starting to get what I would call, Stuart, frothy. Hmm. Frothy. Frothy. Like, what was that that they went public last week? Reddit, was it? Mm -hmm. And there's just a mention of AI continually through Estera the going Labs public. was the other AI company that did much better than Reddit. And they haven't made money yeah. in 20 years. They've lost money for 20 years, and yet they go straight right. up because of their association with AI. Yeah. That's the froth you're talking about. You're getting some wild stock moves now, right? Like there's a super microcomputer, which is up over 250% this year. It almost sounds like a shell company, a James Bond movie. But you know, the point is, they, they're in the semiconductor business. If you look at an index of semiconductor stocks, they trade at 30 times forward earnings, which historically is a very cyclical industry. They trade more like 19. So you're starting to see historically high valuations. Okay, so which AI companies, if you can find them, the, the AI companies related to it, which one should I buy? Well, I'm going to go back to 1999, which was a great year, Stuart. That's oh. when the bubble hadn't burst yet. And Andy Grove, who was the CEO of Intel back then, yeah. had predicted that time that every company was going to be an Internet company. And he was correct. You didn't have to buy just the hot dot-com companies that eventually went to zero. Had you bought any company, eventually they were going to have to embrace the Internet. I would argue right now every company is going to be an AI company. Look at Walmart. They just did a big deal with Microsoft to put a search, an AI search capability on their, uh, on their new app. If you look at automation and AI for Walmart over the next couple of years, it's going to be like $20 billion to their bottom line. Every company is going to produce you know, better margins. They're going to be more efficient. And right now, arguably, if you buy anything that's not AI, you're getting a discount right now because most markets trade relatively cheap. But what, what do investors do? They, they see the momentum, they fund all their money there, forms a bubble. Now, again, I don't have a crystal ball. I can't predict that magical day when that bubble bursts. But we learned from back in 1999, 2000, it's better to be early than late. I don't remember a lot of people saying, hey, I sold AOL, Microsoft at the top in 2000, and put all my money into real estate. They said, ah, I got hurt really bad back in the tech, uh, during the tech bubble because I didn't sell. So maybe some people should be doing the same thing with the AI bubble, the froth right now. Yes? I think that's a very wise decision, Stuart. Uh, tell us more later, okay? Uh, Mr. Payne, thanks very much for joining us. We'll Thank see you again soon.